what is it to go on out there everybody this is Jordan Jones on Super Mario Sunshine Super Mario 3D All-Star for Nintendo Switch the final video of the game Mario Sunshine the final area of the game and the playthrough here we go Corona Mountain I am very excited about getting this game done Okay, so well, we, the way we do this is you have to use blood to hover over these things. Go ahead and grab one up here. Then you have to wait for the spots. You don't want to do it when there's spots that can come up. You want to wait until they're about gone like now. And then when you use the hover novel like a firefighter would to put these fires out. They're on the lit ones on fire. I'm just going to casually go through this easy and slowly. I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold the records or anything. And that's all you do. It's a pretty easy area in my opinion. A lot of people consider this area difficult, but in my opinion, it's pretty easy. And I know exactly what to do. And I'm not gonna do anything risky, I'm just gonna do it the safe way. And then you just do this, and now we gotta use about half the tank, so we have to go fill it up now. And the way we do this is we just go in this water right there. And if you touch that, that's what happens. If you touch that lava thing, you die like that. So it's a pretty easy area as far as you know. As far as I know. The boat part is a little tricky if you don't know what you're doing, but I don't think it's particularly difficult or anything. It's just tricky if you don't know what you're doing. But when you know what you're doing, it does become a piece of cake. And then we just want to do this. Okay, so we have to do this right here. Use flood to hover. And like this. And just make one big jump and then use the VR button to hover. Now, grab more water and what you do now is you ground pound this box and get yourself a one up. Okay, so this part, I've had 100% focus on it because it's a little bit tricky to do this part, but it's not particularly difficult or anything. It's tricky. So the way you're supposed to do this is, you're supposed to use flood like this. Once you don't know what to do and not to do, it is pretty easy when you know what you're doing and stuff. It's really easy to control once you know what you're doing and stuff. It is a little bit tricky. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to, but when you get used to it, when you master it, it does become so easy. Just like anything else would. Okay, so this part's really easy right here. You just want to do this, and then you want to get the blood to hover over here. Watch this! Look how easy that was. So we're going to use our rocket nozzle to, to hover by holding the R. When, you, when you're doing the boat part, you don't want to use the ZR button, you want to use the R button. And you don't want to go too fast for the boat part. This part is a lot easier than the boat part, but the boat part is not particularly difficult or anything. It's just a little bit tricky. So the way we did this part is we just have to do this right here. And then you have to hover, you have to rock it from one cloud to the next. It's pretty easy. It's a pretty big window to make these jumps and you'll enjoy this cutscene coming up. Okay, here's the boss here. It's one of the easiest, if not the easiest, final boss of the boss in Mario games. So the way you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to use the rocket nozzle to ground pound the um, spoons and stuff. And then you have to destroy the hot tub in the end. It's a really fun one. I'm not going for super risky strats or anything like that. I'm just going to do it the easiest way I possibly can. Uh, this boss fight is 
so easy compared to the Faust boss fight in other Mario games. I'd like to make it a little bit riskier like this, because this boss is so easy to play. And what you're supposed to do right here is down the edge of this area, rock it up, and hold down the ZL button. And it's pretty easy, right? Not too hard. It does take a little bit of practice to get used to the mechanics of this boss, but once you get used to it, it does become a joke. It is so easy. Like we credit like the Meowser fight in Mario 3 World. Like wow, that is a difficult boss. And this one's a joke compared to everything. Oh, let me take it too risky. We only have one thing left, thank goodness. Okay, so we can just get a rocket off and get up here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a safe strategy right now. Because I only have two hits left. I don't want to do anything too risky or anything. This pop up pretty easy. So let's see how it goes. So this is the fancy move he does right here. That's mostly pretty easy to avoid. And he's out. And then the next video will have the next few cutscenes.